Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Vegas Top Dogs TV YouTube channel college football report for this week. We will touch on a few top 25 college football games. We have a special guest sitting back in the green room. We'll bring him on in just a minute. But make sure you like, subscribe, give us that thumbs up. We'll keep these videos coming to you throughout the college and NFL season, plus basketball, NBA, and college basketball will be in full swing here shortly. Um, I have a top 25, actually a top five selection for you, college football. We'll get to that in one minute. First, let's bring on Jesse Shule, who is top in both NFL and college football this season at VegasTopDogs.com. Let's bring him on here. Hello, Jesse. How are you? Hey, Tony. I'm honored that you uh, invited me on to talk some college football. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, you've been you've had a great start to the season, both college and NFL. So uh, I know you had a few games you wanted to give a selection on. So let's uh, let's jump right in. All right. Well, the first game I'm looking at is uh, the Michigan Wolverines, obviously uh, one of the big uh, playoff contenders. They are hosting Illinois. Illinois is coming off of a loss at home against Purdue last week. I did watch that game. I did have Illinois in that game. And let me tell you, they got robbed. Uh, they had 12 penalties for 121 yards in that game. A lot of pass interference play uh, calls that were quite questionable. They came into that game with the number one scoring defense in the country. That might be a little bit dubious because they haven't played a, a, a tough schedule. But still, that defense is, uh, is lights out. Um, they will travel to Ann Arbor to take on Michigan. And this is a tough spot for Michigan. On their best day, Michigan might be 18 points better than Illinois, but uh, they got Ohio State on deck. So this is situationally, this is a tricky spot for Michigan. They're, they're going to be concentrating on that Ohio State game, all the talk about which one of those teams is going to sneak into the playoffs. Uh, and history is on the side of Illinois here. Um, the underdog is covered in six of the last seven head-to-head -head meetings between these teams. You take a look at the total. The total is a really low number at 43. And this game sort of smacks of a 24 to 16, 24 to 14 type of game to, to me anyways. Uh, the under is 12 and 4 in Michigan's last 16 home games. Uh, Chase Brown may or may not play. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not counting on him to play. But I think the fact that he's questionable and not out for the year is a big boost to this Illinois team. I think it would be very demoralizing if he suffered a season-ending injury last week. And the fact that they're even talking about him playing, I think, is is good for morale. And, uh, yeah, I think 18 points in a, in a game like this, given the situation, I'll, I'll take the points here with Illinois. Yeah, definitely a look-ahead game with um, Ohio State facing Michigan next week. So moving on, I, I also have a, a total in mind for a Big 12 game. No playoff implications here, but a uh, pretty good story with Kansas. Of course, uh, they stormed the field when they won their sixth game to become bowl eligible against uh, Oklahoma State a couple weeks ago. And that set them up for one hell of a uh, letdown spot against Texas Tech last week. And the Red Raiders ran all over them, 264 rushing yards four touchdowns in that game. And now they welcome Texas. And uh, you got to think Texas will be able to uh, run all over them as well. But I expect this to be a run and gun game. If you look at the history between these two teams, last year, Kansas won 57 to 56 in overtime at Texas. And the previous meeting, which was 2019, Texas won by a score of 50 to 48. Like I say, neither of these two teams are uh, in contention for any playoffs or anything at the, at the moment. I expect this to be a, a run-and-gun game with both teams uh, putting points on the board. And the total is 64. I like it to go over. Over. Okay. Do you have any of your uh, selections loaded up on the Vegas Top Dogs for the weekend or not yet? I do not have any football up yet. I do have uh, – Three plays up tonight. I got a couple college basketball, and I do have the uh, one of the MAC games. Okay, same with me. I don't have my selections up yet, but uh, be sure to check VegasTopDogs.com daily. Like I said, Jesse is top ten in both college and NFL. I'm sure by uh, Thursday or so he'll have his action loaded up for the weekend. 
Um, he gave you two selections. I'm going to give you one here and top five action. Um, and it's going to be um, TCU versus uh, Baylor. So I think TCU has Iowa State remaining on their schedule. So this is their, their biggest game to stay undefeated. And I think uh, Baylor, they're coming off a terrible loss. They only scored three points. It's the first time they've been held without a touchdown since December 12th of 2020. It's another interstate rivalry game. I think Baylor here bounces back, hands TCU their first loss of the season, take the underdog with Baylor, top five action. They'll knock them out of the top five. And like you said, there's a Michigan, Ohio State next week. Georgia has LSU in a couple weeks and then the SEC championship. So I think you're going to see a, a shakeup here in the next few weeks with uh, the top five teams in college football. That certainly has been the trend the, the past two weeks. And uh, I like your pick there on Baylor. It, it seems like a big letdown spot for TCU after that win at Texas. Yeah, absolutely. I think is they're coming off a big win. Baylor off, you know, their worst game in uh, almost two years. So I think it's a good bounce back spot for Baylor this Saturday. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, Jesse. I'd like to thank you for coming on and uh, giving us your uh, knowledge and sharing some insight and some college football for this Saturday. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you again on a future video. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. As always, good luck and be a winner.